Hi, I w uh, it's time to speak about Tina Turner because um, when I was young in the 80s um, I, I was so interested in music that I knew really a lot about it and when Eisenmanns and Kimples and Kerfs and um, came together and Weindels um, I was around and I was the youngest person on the table but in, I was so, so interested in music and in these uh, days, I knew Tina already f uh, with two songs. They were very present. It was, of course, Not Bush City and Proud Mary. But there was another one, and um, I f forgot always the name, but the intro is very interesting. She's doing this, like, shh, this very so, shh. And so and they come together right now. Or, and so, so, but I knew her. And I knew uh, the hair and all the stuff that she had. and. Um, one day, uh, it, I think it was Jacob Eisenman, the son, not the father, the son. Uh, he, uh, he spoke about Roger Davis from Australia and another man. And I had a good feeling for that because before I said some things and um, they did it, uh, it, it, was, it was good for everybody. And I said, well, I would say Tina knows that Roger Davis from Australia is the right one. I have no idea why, but I'm sure this is the right one for Tina. And it was no surprise, Tina know, knows, it, knew it really. And so, uh, because I saw an interview later. And then he said, yes, but I, I know her style. And then uh, Jacob asked me about Ball of Confusion, if I know the song, and I said, no was not very present in my and later I found out it was uh, it was a flop the record was a flop they made, made an LP with her uh, from England but uh, it was a flop and she had this hair I said no I don't know this song because everything was that was important and was really cool in these days I definitely knew it so uh, I said no I don't know it and I said, okay, so maybe the, the look, this is from another time. These were my, my words. And they transported it to uh, Roger Davis. I said, I would change the look because there are a lot of young people and she is so energetic and vibrant and everything. And so that's why she became new hair. And I said, maybe she should something brush like a dog with it. This is, is, this is very, I think this is very suitable for her. And it was. And then we talked about the album Private Dancer. And when you look on the names on the album, and I think we don't need another hero and some others, they came then uh, during the period. And the funny thing is, I saw Tina live performing first in the big sport hall. And she was amazing. She, um, I, I remember the, the, the red leather dress and all. I said, wow. And the hair, when she came up, I said, ooh, this is really cool. Okay, of course, she was a great singer. But, you know, you have to uh, present yourself and to, to show up yourself. And uh, people, yeah, they have to, must remember you. And uh, then I saw her in the big stadium. And I made a training on the job. I had an economic background. I was always interested in music. I have so much music and records in these days. Um, and uh, Miss Knoblauch and I think even the Haas family, they have an auto house. But um, uh, Haas were friends of a colleague of my, um, when I made a training on the job, I had to go to school. And there was one guy, Ilya Style, and he was the ex friend of Sylvia Haas. And I had a school friend in the school before I made the training on the job, and it was Wolfgang Miller. And I had a business as well, a fashion business, and dealing with household and, and tiny little stuff and little machines and all this stuff. So this was, and they were friends, they knew each other. And so, uh, for carnival or for some celebrations, we were around and we, they had a weekend house near Bad Eibling. So I knew this, uh, the, the Haas family, the Miller family. And um, one, and Renate Knoblauch, she was um, in the company where, where I worked. And uh, she was the leader of the sales uh, department. And um, I was in the export division. And uh, when we spoke about um, 
uh, the songs for Tina and Madonna. I was uh, I was in the department um, and I have to buy the things and she sold it. And so she was in the apartment in the office where, where, where I was and Mr. Zierson was around and I said, well, I saw Madonna and uh, the Blonde Ambition tour live and I saw Tina and I knew her life story because um, after she left Ike and I said, wow, this woman is so amazing. I said, the industry should secure them. And Knoblauch is on one um, LP um, for, for, for some songs and um, I think even Haas. And, but th this was my influence, even Terry Britton and Jacob Eisenman because I floated it around and I said, well, is there not a, a cool drink around to, to spoil up those two artists a little bit? And Tina Turner and um, even Madonna uh, and Madonna, they got um, a similar drink with from different companies, um, and yes, it was good for them. I, th I thought, and uh, I asked for it, and Renate heard it, and Mr. Tierson heard it, and they knew it because there were only industry clients around, and they did it. So that's a little secret why Tina gets new hair and a new style and the deal with the drink company. So maybe I meet her somewhere because um, I'm still creative and I want to have to. Um, I want to make some dreams come true in my life, and I want a residence in London and uh, in Dubai. Some shikes were around, and maybe in Munich. And yes, so just to to uh, speak about this secret because that the people know with all this influence comes from and my voice with music was always around and I wish Tina all the best and I'm, I defin I'm definitely sure she becomes 100 years old and she always was a queen and yes it's cool so see you my name is Leon bye bye